Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can print numbers from 1 to 10 using for, for loops, while loops and do while loops. But before that I'm going to show you how we can print these numbers without the loops at all, which is not the preferred way. So I've declared a number, an integer, uh, named a number and I've given it a value of 1. Now I just want to print that number and I want to increment it after it is printed by 1. So this is going to increment this value by 1. And so what it will do is it will first print this number, which is 1, and then it will increment it by 1. So the output would be 1 here. And next time, so if I do this again, this will be 2 and 3 and 4 five, six, seven, eight, nine, and oh, I should have left the one, 10. Now I'm going to compile this program and run it. It should give us values from one to 10. And so it did, okay? But this is not really convenient. If I need to print numbers from one to a hundred, then I'm going to need hundreds uh, 100 statements of these. So that's not very convenient and not very efficient at all. There is a, a way faster way to doing this using for loops. So I'm going to convert this program into a for, uh, into using for loops. So I'm going to start with the keyword for and I have my condition. Remember there is never a semicolon after the end of the for loop. So we start with initializing our value this can be also initialized before, but I'm going to leave it here for now. And a number is less or equal to uh, is less or equal to ten. This is when I want it to stop. So this is going to be my ending condition. So this is the starting value, ending value, and then what do we increment it by? So I'm going to be incrementing this by one only. And now I can see out this statement but without the plus plus part because I only want the number and the plus plus part is done already, is done here. Now I can delete these statements making our program way more efficient. Now I'm going to compile and, and run. This should give me exactly the same result. And so yes, it does. So I've got, I've got the values one, two, 10. Okay. So to convert this into a while loop, I just need to use the while keyword instead of for. My initializing part has to be done before the while loop. Okay. And the condition remains the same in its place. There would be no semicolon. And the, the incrementing part has to be done inside the while loop. This is really important because if we don't increment it here, we will be stuck in this loop because this will never reach 10. So this will cause an infinite loop to be executing at runtime. So this is why it's important to increment and have a, an incrementing value so that this condition is eventually met. Now I'm going to run the program and this has given me the, the same values one to 10, but in a different way using while loops. Now the final one that I wanted to show was the do while loop and this is really, really easy. So once you've got the while loop, the do while loop is really easy to convert. So what you need to do is just remove this part and put it at the end. Okay. So, and then terminate this with a semicolon. So this is important here and the beginning, you just have to say do. So this is going to be do this while this is true. So, um, compile and run and same results. So in this video, you were able to um, print, you were able to uh, print numbers from one to 10 using for loops, while loops and do while loops. I hope that was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.